Hello everyone, my name is Kyo, and welcome to my vlog series, uh, where I talk about things I want to remember, and hopefully this series touches hearts through the screen. What better way to start off this series than the time when I went to Portland? Woo! So this is my first time flying, first time being out by myself, first time uh, not being with family, friends, and just first time everything, really. So let's talk about why I went to Portland. Uh, the reason why I went is because I had to get certain certifications for future projects. Where the company pays for the classes, they don't really pay for the travel expenses. I could have taken a class in, this, in the state, but I was actually feeling a little travel happy. I was even considering in bringing a companion with me, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I wanted to travel and I didn't have the funds to do so before, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. We ended up heading through the airport and my mom ended up taking me. And I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, she ended up crying, uh, which I understand, and I'm pretty sure a lot of mothers do. The whole fact of like your child leaving, if they get hurt, you're not gonna be there to help them or to like, nurture them and everything and it's also like the mother bear thing where like if someone uh, starts messing with their cubs the mother bear just like s rolls up their sleeves and just starts beating anyways I got to my terminal I walked around a little bit and the terminal is like a white lull uh, really there's uh, slot machines souvenir stores and fast food restaurants but I can't really I guess I can't really compare any other airports because Vegas is the only one I have been in and Portland too of course but I don't know. I, I think that's kind of funny. But other than that, on flying, I wasn't too scared about flying. I was told it was like a roller coaster, uh, which I've never been in as well. I actually messed up my seat arrangement. I purchased the one that was on the walkway. I actually wanted the one on the window side. As soon as we started taking off, people on the side of me were, I saw them like praying and everything, which actually got me a little scared. But I just sat back, put my head on the headrest, and just closed my eyes and just felt everything shake and move and then the pressure, the g-force hitting my body. And it was just, it was very interesting. And then, and then the, the plane throttle started going. As soon as we started lifting up, I noticed like the whole zero gravity thing started happening. Like my whole body started feeling really light, and I felt like I could just move around, like start flying, like woo. And uh, as I was looking outside too, I wasn't like I was looking outside. I I feel like if someone would, and they have never been in in, in an airplane, they would throw up. As well as like if they have like a really sensitive stomach, they would throw up. And I looked outside as the window was facing more down towards the the ground and the houses really do look small I, I, I thought it was I kind of thought it was like a joke that uh, my mom told me that everyone looks like ants well everyone did look like ants and every even like the houses too but it was still pretty cool I found out that there is a cat bus equivalent uh, from Vegas it's called uh, TriMat and there's a seven day pass which I use because that's how long I'm gonna be there for. Their passes are not only for buses, but they're also for trains, which is actually pretty cool. So you kind of save like a lot. Uh, as I was boarding, I was, that's, it's, it's, again, it's the first time I've ever actually been in the train before as well. Uh, when I was in the train, it, it was interesting. It's it's like a, it's kind of like a bus. It, it does go faster. Like I think s like 75 was the highest it, it can go. There's still like speed limits on trains, unless they're like going further away. I don't know. There are speed limits, and uh, I think it went like 75 whenever I kept going on it. The only difference is that there's a lot more room, and it's a little wobbly, but it's it's still fun though. Uh, so after many buses, I went to the hotel, and let me tell you, I did not know the definition of sleazy. But as soon as I walked into my hallway of the building of my hotel, that word instantly popped into my head. My room was actually fairly unsafe. The door security wasn't that great. It would the door like a good kick on the door it would break it down, um, even with the like little lock on the top of it. The light fixture was also like murderousy, um, like flickery, and the neighborhood around was actually a little sketchy as well. There was this one night that I I came out to go get some food. There was a shady, druggy looky guy uh, that came around the corner, and he was like, "Yo, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Don't, don't tell him, all right?" And then I was like, "Okay, sure, bye." But other than that, the bed was actually sleepable, and the shower was working, so I didn't really care too much about the whole everything else. Portland was actually a pretty cool place. Uh, there was actually a lot more rain. Uh, clouds uh, definitely need to differ from uh, sun from 
Nevada. It's completely opposite. So it was, uh, it was really cool. I spent my first two days uh, checking out uh, the city after school and before school. And I actually noticed there's a lot of homeless youths within the city, which uh, I didn't really enjoy that too much. I actually had an idea or a plan to do something for them. I had some extra sandwiches that I was gonna make for myself, but then I was like, oh, this is way too much for just a week. So I, I was thinking of making it, and put, I actually bought a mask too, and I was gonna put it on and just dress up and just pass them out, but... <laughs> um, I'm sick. <coughs> uh, I'm dying. Mm. Yeah, I got sick. I really did have these intentions though. It was the first time I was actually cherish or cherishable. Charitable. Most of my days, other than being sick or watching TV or playing League of Legends at this gaming cafe, I actually met a lot of cool people. There was this one chick that, that was from Portland and she went over to Tokyo to see this guy he, she was seeing. And then she ended up coming back to her hometown to see family and friends again. I met this one guy that would dress up as a pirate every Thursday, which was pretty cool. I, I was going to implement it in Vegas, but I, I've been busy with, you know, moving in and everything. And I also met this one this one woman uh, on the bus. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she had, she, be, she, she beat cancer, really. She said that she, yeah, she has to pay off the government for the rest of her life, but she's living. When she kept going on with her story, she told me about what happened with her friend and how her mother and father have been treating her. It, it's, it just seems wrong. I guess I didn't like hearing what she said. Like, I, I think she's like a really cool person. I just didn't like the fact that that's happening to her. Especially after she got out of something really big. I really, I really wish I remembered her name. Uh, I gave her one of my movie tickets. Remember me by uh, from Vegas. But if if you're watching this right now, I really hope your life is really good right now. Before I knew it, it was Saturday and it was time to fly home. I got there pretty early, uh, so I just looked around. Uh, I saw Java Juice and I got a white gummy bear for the first time. Uh, thanks, Heart, by the way. And I just waited, I just waited at the arrival section of uh, the Portland airport. And I swear, I, I saw the most coolest thing you can ever see. Like, you would see the, this in a movie. Basically, there's a father and his children at the arrival section where I'm at. And at, the, at this time, too, I was listening to this really inspirational song. I can't remember the song, but I'll put it down in the link below. And I was just playing it, and I put it on repeat because it was, like, really cool. And basically, the father and the children were uh, waiting, and kids were playing on the playground while the dad was watching. And then the, a woman comes out from the arrival line and the, one of the child uh, starts running to the woman and it's just, it's just the fact that they, I'm listening to the music just makes it like so much more impactful. She, she started running to her and she started the mother started tearing up and she got extended her arms out and like bent her knees so that way she could reach the height of the child and just they connected. They hugged and it was just really beautiful. I was like the, when I saw that I just thought that's freaking love. And that really made me excited to go back home because like I, I really couldn't wait to see my mom and just give her a hug and just say that I love her. I love you mom. In conclusion, the trip was so worth it. The experiences uh, of living alone, meeting new people, places, and learning new things I'm really glad I went out to go study. Whether it's your first time flying alone, your first time letting your child go, uh, the friends you have, to the new ones you make, you should really cherish those moments that you have with them. Because I realize that we let those moments pass us by, like, every day. And whether it's yours or whether it's seeing someone else's, it's just cherish those precious moments. Uh, with that being said, I'm Keo. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.